top of the morning to you. It is uh, 47 degrees on an April 11th morning. We are taking to the highway this morning. Uh, heading up the road to uh, somewhere we haven't visited this year. Uh, just going to try to put our ears on some fresh to us dirt. I'm sure it's been picked over a little bit, but it's only been in a handful of days, so maybe not maybe not too much. I just passed my road like an idiot. I'm trying to talk to y'all instead of doing what I'm supposed to.
miles down to that road. Norman deer shot up three turkeys. Turkeys to get him to cobble. These woods are so open, this is dangerous. They're dangerous.
cookies. Not what the deal was. They acted finicky. I don't know if one of them was a Jake. They acted like when you call up goblin Jakes, like they'll gobble. But they don't gobble at the right time. Like the right frequency, they don't gobble. Kind of when they should. That's what they acted like. But I know the bird that I saw in the road. Down there was a long I put the binos on in. Laid eyes on them jokers twice today. One at about 250 down there straight away road. That time it was at about 70. Watched him come off his little finger. Down in that bottom with me, but he wouldn't come around the corner. It is uh, time to get to walking. It's a balmy 60 something degrees, that's why I'm wearing a t shirt. Kind of a leafy in the back. And uh, we're going up high. We're going to where I left those turkeys two days ago. See if they're still in there. I'd have loved to have been on them yesterday. But. Duty calls, I had to get out and do some things. So, going back in today and hopefully they're still there. Supposed to be like a strong 12 mile an hour south wind at daylight. I'm not feeling it at the moment. I'm not gonna hurt my feelings if it don't show up, but that's kind of the reason that we're back in this spot because it's got some little ravines and hollows that set up better for a south wind than where I want it. sunshine at daylight so swing and a miss for the meteorologist again surprising that is just dead in here the songbirds are going but I ain't heard a turkey gobble yet
be in a road that we walk down. That'd be. since he's gobbled now and he doesn't hit everything so I don't know I'm like kind of playing it cool because I figured I was almost in his way like if he's walking this road he's gonna come through here and I ain't gonna do nothing but he's stalled up there and I ain't got a clue what's going on so
He's not goblin in anything. He is just sporadically goblin. Like I watched the turkey come off that deal down the road. He's up there probably 200 yards, just, I mean, step by step. Looking, looking, looking. Then, I, then he disappears. I just, I have no idea where he went. That's been at least 20, if not 30 minutes ago. And he just gobbles down here in the timber. Dang. Well, it's right at 10 o'clock. It's been an hour since he gobbled, and he didn't gobble again. That is the turkey I am confident that I was so close to two days ago. The two turkeys were right here where I was at and that was, he was up on the top side. That turkey, that's a tough turkey. He was all by himself and was Flipping nervous, boy. Man, what a turkey. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down in the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.